Hey folks, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. So in this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some military surplus. Military surplus simply means excess equipment that was designed for the military. Either it was issued, um, so it might be used stuff that a company picked up and they're reselling, or it sometimes it's just excess inventory that the military gets, whether it's US military, Swiss, Czech, British, whatever that they don't need, and so they turn around and sell it. So a lot of times you can find some gear that's good quality, uh, it's really designed to perform out in the elements, and when you get it in a surplus uh, format, it is very, very affordable. So in this video in particular, we're going to be looking at a couple of different um, haversacks, shoulder bags, whatever you would like to call them, and just to give you guys an idea of kind of what you can find out there. Now this is not meant to be an in-depth review of any of these products and keep in mind pricing and availability is going to vary greatly. Uh, there's a lot of different websites that you can get military surplus from as well as local stores, things like that. Everything you see here in particular I was able to purchase through sportsmansguide.com. Now this is not any kind of an endorsement of their website. I don't have any kind of an agreement or anything like that with them. That's just so you guys know for your reference if you wanted to head on over and check out any of these particular items. Now one more quick caveat, I don't claim to be any kind of an expert on military surplus by any stretch of the imagination. So a lot of what I'm going to say is simply information that I've got off the website. So if you know something about this equipment that I don't, or maybe you've got a particular idea of how you could modify it or better use it, feel free to comment below and share your thoughts. So first off, let's take a look at one of the actually most affordable items that I got off their website. These were on clearance. I picked these up two for five dollars was basically what it came to uh, so they're practically giving them away I really like this bag actually so unfortunately it doesn't appear that they have it on their website anymore but I was able to snag two of them and this is advertised as a Swiss shoulder bag um, some of the features that I kind of like about this I like that it's a fairly heavy duty uh, durable material you can see right here very 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 strong uh, built well uh, it's got a lot of metal hardware on there as well. You've got these, I'm not sure exactly what you would call it, uh, but they clip in there uh, on the, uh, the top flap here. You can also see they've got metal hardware on the back, which is interesting, as well as this hook right here, which is designed for a specific purpose. I'm not sure, uh, but it definitely works for me for like hanging a hatchet off of it, something like that. It works well. Uh, so this is pretty comfortable for you to wear. It's got an angle to the top, so um, obviously you can wear it like that on your right side and it, uh, it kind of fits well to your body. Um, if you want to open it up, you've got this little strap here that secures it even better. So that just pops up and then you can unclasp that and open it up. Now hopefully you guys can see, but this particular bag has a lot of specialized pockets in here. You can tell they had some very specific things in mind. Um, however, a lot of the pockets I think are going to work really well for different things, ferro rods, flashlights, things like that. You just have to kind of play with it and figure out the best configuration. Um, but I think it'll, it'll work really well. There's a lot of uh, functionality you see there. Uh, this came with a, a sturdy strap. It's in good shape. And uh, one other feature that I really like, uh, as these, uh, these metal buckles that I previously mentioned, you can actually adjust those if you'd like to uh, carry your haversack straight up and down you can do that or if you unclasp this move it down here you can get into more of a shoulder bag kind of configuration yeah a shoulder bag configuration so you can actually wear this on your back at an angle I could tighten that strap up a little bit wear it a little bit higher and uh, it would be like a cross strap shoulder bag so very very cool um, again this is a really stout bag uh, this is like a canvas type material so this is not waterproof however there's stuff you could do waterproof sprays or uh, going like the waxed canvas method and get this thing waterproof so again I picked these up they were only two for five bucks so a really really good deal 
Next up, we're going to take a look at a check shoulder bag. Now, I'll correct the pricing on the screen if I'm remembering wrong, but I want to say I picked these up, four of them for about $15. So, really, really affordable. Uh, one of the things immediately that I like about this is the material. This is like a rubberized, like PVC type material. So, this is made to be very, very water resistant. I mean, I would venture to say that this material is waterproof, but this bag is not waterproof because of the design, um, which I'll get into a little more detail here. Uh, so it's not like this is a dry bag where you could throw it overboard and you'd be okay. But uh, for like rain, stuff like that, it's definitely going to keep your stuff dry. Now these came used, but most of them were in basically like new condition. Looked like they weren't even issued. Some of them, you can see like this one, obviously that was issued to somebody. It has their name in there, um, but it's still in really good shape. All of them were very, very serviceable. Um, no tears, no cuts, no really bad stains or anything like that. So they're in good shape. Uh, this is a smaller sized uh, shoulder bag, not real big, uh, but still good enough to be like functional as a haversack. You can see the straps down here at the bottom. If you want to open that flap, you just pull, undo those, opens right up. Now it does have flaps across the top here. You can see once you have this packed out, you can just go ahead and pull that flap across. There is a buckle right there that goes like that. You can cinch that across. And then when you pull your flap over, that's what's going to give you that really, really uh, good um, block for, you know, water trying to get in there. Again, not completely waterproof, but if you have it set up right, closed up good, you're definitely not going to get any rain inside there. Also, inside this, it does have a little bit of a liner going on. So you do have some pockets in there on one side. So you do have a little bit of help there as far as organizing. And again, these bags were in really, really great shape all of them very very good condition um, and this is very sturdy material i mean you've got heavy duty straps you can see that's riveted on there uh, rivets all around so this is a tough little bag so in particular if you know that you're going out on a rainy day and you've got stuff you need to keep absolutely dry this bag is going to work really well for that or if it's just particular items that you want to make really sure that they don't get wet you can put them inside here stick them inside of a bigger pack pull it out when you need it I'd also say if you've got a kid who's just getting into bushcraft, um, this is a really, really good bag. I gave one of these to my son, one of them to my daughter, and I mean, his eyes just lit up. He loved this thing. It's a great size for him. He's 10 years old, so it's not too big. It's not gonna be so packed down to where it's too much weight for him, but it's a perfect size. And the fact that it's a, it's a durable material um, and it's uh, pretty much waterproof, just about, means that he's not gonna have any mishaps where his gear gets messed up because you know kids aren't always as careful as they should be. And they're really, really affordable, so if he were to mess this thing up, or if he were to lose it, it wouldn't be a huge deal. It, I didn't have a whole ton of money invested in it. So again, good budget item here, really affordable, great for kids, great for keeping your gear dry. By the way, if you check around on Military Surplus, there's a bunch of different versions of this type of bag, uh, this check bag, a little bit bigger version, uh, really big version, backpack type version with backpack straps. So I think I'm going to do a little looking around, but I'm planning on getting a backpack version of this uh, style pack because I like it so much. And again, very, very affordable. So last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at what they refer to as a British M37 pack. Now I've got two here. These were advertised as being the exact same pack. I've got a gray one and I've also got a green one. Now these are both obviously heavily used and I would venture to say I see some slight variations in this pack. Um, you look at some of the flaps, just some of the cut, uh, the exact sizing seems a little bit different. This is still again really like a kind of a heavy duty like cotton canvas type material but you can see this is a lot a more texture to it so this is gonna be a little in my mind a little bit trickier to uh, to waterproof I don't think a water repellent spray would necessarily do it for you right off the bat it might give you a little bit of water repellency but I would think that this is probably gonna soak up a lot of that spray um, but again I think wax canvas if you want to go that route I would imagine that would work well I'm not an expert on that I haven't really done much with wax canvas but just from what I have I have seen so if that's something you're into um, you might consider that on a pack like this 
Now both of these packs did come with serviceable straps as advertised. However, like you sometimes see with military surplus, it looks like they didn't have a gray strap, I would imagine, and so they gave me like a tan one, which is still okay because it's got a uh, it's got a nice look to it. I'm, I'm just a big fan of the gray color, and you've got that classic look with the straps in the front. Now you can tell from this pack and a little bit of the research that I did that this is actually really originally designed as a backpack. Um, you can see right here you've got like some straps that obviously there's another strap assembly that's made to buckle uh, into there. I'm assuming it clasps on these little uh, loops right here at the bottom somehow so if you are familiar with this pack and you know where you could find straps for that or you have a good idea of how you could rig straps up, uh, for this leave that in the comments below because I'm looking myself because I would really like to find straps so I can set this up as a backpack I could either leave the straps on use it as a backpack or just put my shoulder strap here and use it as a shoulder bag now as far as it goes as a shoulder bag you can see this is definitely a little bit of a larger bag there's a lot of capacity here but if you're taking a little bit bigger day trip out in the woods and you need a little more gear with you, maybe you've got a couple extra clothing items like a wool sweater or something like that, you want to stuff in there, um, that'll work. Um, I have a, a Pathfinder bush pot and that'll fit inside here to give you a little perspective. Uh, front to back, there's plenty of width there. So if you got to take a little bit more uh, gear with you, uh, this thing is definitely going to do the job. And again, I mean, really sturdy material, heavy stitching throughout, uh, metal buckles this is very you know good quality old school construction and we'll open this up and take a look inside and with this particular bag there is no compartments nothing going on on the inside this is just straight wide open just a lot of space so if that's what you need is just uh, a lot of capacity and you don't want extra pockets and stuff you just want to be able to fit large bulkier items in there and then maybe you'll use some smaller pouches or something to organize the rest of your stuff it's gonna work great for that but no extra compartments this is just a empty bag um, but you can see you still have flaps that go across the top here so you could pack this with your gear pull those flaps over uh, there's nothing that came there I don't know if something was supposed to come there but it'd be easy enough to run a length of paracord across there you know that you could just tie cinch that down pull that flap over and it's going to give you that water resistance kind of like those other bags I just showed you but again this is obviously not nearly as water repellent of a material now with all that being said for these bags in particular they definitely had the heaviest wear out of the ones that I ordered this one is in better shape than this one we can see right here this was originally really kind of an OD green and it is very faded out it's also got a lot of dirt ground into it obviously and uh, even after washing and scrubbing these things I wasn't really able to get all of that out uh, but I particularly wanted these packs because I wanted something this style I wanted something that was really older really kind of a, a classic look and design to it so that was kind of the, the trade-off sometimes when you're looking at military surplus if you're looking at newer equipment you might actually really get equipment that performs a little bit better um, and it's going to be in a lot better shape if not like new shape and you get a really good deal on it sometimes if you're looking for something like this that's a little older a little older style a little older fashioned you're going to pay more and it's actually going to be in worse shape but you know that's what you got to do if you want something like this so you can see this bag in particular though there was no like structural damage to it um, the only really uh, cosmetic flaws you can see that I got like there's some kind of a grease stain right there that you can kind of see um, there's a little bit some stains here and there but it just looks broken you know it doesn't look bad and again overall it's in really really good shape definitely completely serviceable this one you can tell the material is definitely a lot more worn it's a lot softer a lot looser it's kind of lost some of its uh, some of its structure and again a lot of staining a lot of fading but it is still going to work. It's not going to be any issues there whatsoever. So folks, I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful to you. I know there's a lot of people out there like myself. You live on a budget and you don't always have the money to go and buy that super you know, high-end, uh, custom-made products but you want to have good quality gear 
that's going to work. And if you love like classic kind of timeless designs, military surplus can be a great way to go. You can see again everything that I showed you here, each item was $13 or less. Some of the items you were able to get two for five, some of them you were able to get four for 15. So very, very affordable, very accessible to everybody. And the stuff is readily available if you just know where to look. Obviously, there's a lot more out there when it comes to military surplus. We've just taken a look at shoulder bags and haversacks today, and that's barely scratching the surface of what's out there and what's available. Um, there's a lot of great backpacks I'm looking at. There's a lot of great equipment you can get, shovels, tools, all kinds of stuff, military surplus that's really cool, really unique, and really built to last, and you can get it at affordable prices. So if you've got something else that you think I should check out, whether it's one of these shoulder bags, or it is a backpack, something like that, feel free to leave your comments below and I'll take a look. And hopefully we can bring some more content like this to you guys in the near future. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to comment below. We appreciate your input on this video. Also, thank you for your support. Thank you for everything you do for our channel. I hope you guys subscribe so you don't miss any great content like this to come in the future.